Welcome back to my channel! First of all, I apologize for being MIA. I have had a busy couple weeks, and I didn't film a video last week, and the week before, it wasn't even like a video video, it was footage of Blanca singing Amazing Grace, because I didn't have a chance to film a video that week either, but I'm about to say, I am back now, and hoping to get back on a regular schedule. Yay! So, in case you couldn't tell by the title of the video, I am going to do a July Favorites video, because I couldn't think of anything else to do. And it is August 1st, so I figured I'd do this. Disclaimer, I am not a beauty person, or into that kind of thing at all, so this is a very random favorites, and these things that are my favorites might not be my favorites in a few weeks, but they're my favorites right now, or for the month of July anyway. So, let's just jump into it. First, this, can you see it? This is Shea Moisture Fruit Fusion coconut water weightless cream rinse for fine to medium hair. This is a <laughs> conditioner and I was researching what conditioner to use for my hair type. In case you didn't know, everyone has a hair type. I learned this because my sister Abigail has type 4 hair and in researching her hair I learned that I have type 2A hair. So I was trying to find a conditioner that was good for my ever so slightly curly wavy-ish hair and this is the one I came across and I love it so much. It does not leave my hair feeling heavy, it rinses out, it smells great, it makes my hair really soft but not like limp. It smells really really good, I highly recommend this and I only have to use a teensy weensy little bit for all of my hair. Yay, thanks Shea Moisture. Next! This! This is Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. I've had this sea salt spray for a few years and didn't use it very regularly until recently because I went to the beach this month. Information on that coming in a second, but I remembered how much I like my hair with salt in it, so I went back to using my sea salt texturizing spray that I've had for forever, and it works great. I love this. Highly recommend it. I have it in my hair right now. Next! This! This is a beauty blender. This is a very large beauty blender and it's not even beauty blender brand, it is CVS brand. But I finally jumped on the beauty blender back bandwagon like a year or two late. I was using a brush for my foundation and then I realized kind of like when you paint a house, when you paint your face with a brush, you get brush strokes. So I switched to this and I like it very much. Next, these. These are kind bars. This one is popped dark chocolate with sea salt, and this one is caramel macchiato. This one is incredible. Oh, well, they're both incredible, but this one in particular is really, really good. It tastes exactly like a caramel macchiato. It is amazing, and I only have one left. I highly recommend the kind bars, especially if you're gluten-free. They're a little more filling and less expensive than other options, I guess. Next, these! These I got at Aldi, and I'm gonna guarantee they probably don't have them anymore. They are mango chipotle cassava pops made with cassava, which is yucca root, but they are gluten-free, and cassava is amazing, and I'm waiting for cassava to kind of take off in the U.S., because it is fantastic, but I found these and got very excited. They are delicious and fantastic, and if your Aldi still has them, go and grab them. Next, this tank top. Wait, hold on. Okay, can you see what it says? I don't know if you can see what it says. It's, well, I'll we'll get there, hold on. It says Young, Scrappy, and Hungry. It's a Hamilton tank top that I got off of Etsy, and I love it so much, and it's so soft, and I highly recommend it. I think I ordered a size too big. I ordered the medium, and I should have ordered the small, but I love the shirt. I love the feel of it. I love, it's like loose and flowy, and really lightweight, and fantastic. I'll put a link in the description to the Etsy place where I got this shirt. I love it so much. Speaking of Hamilton, my next obsession is Hamilton, which actually wasn't really a July thing so much as I like started in January, February kind of thing. I'm obsessed with the Hamilton soundtrack, so I'm going to add Hamilton the Musical to this favorites video, even though it was more of a like 2016 so far favorites than a July favorites. Next! These sandals that I got at a local discount like overstock kind of clothing place for four dollars and I couldn't pass them up and I got them for my southern trip when I went to the beach. Next! Oh, this! Can you see it? This is a suitcase and this suitcase is hard and it has four wheels on the bottom and it is purple and I love it so much and I got this suitcase at another discount store place for 40 bucks. Yeah, I was very excited about it. I bought it for my trip to North Carolina, which brings me to my next favorite of the month. It is this, not, not necessarily the shirt itself, although I do love the shirt, but it is the state of North Carolina. I saw this shirt in the airport as I was leaving North Carolina and I had to get it. I went to North Carolina this month to visit my 
bestest friend who I hadn't seen in almost four years. I randomly came across some very discounted flights, called her and I said, hey, I found flights. I'm coming to see you in three weeks. So I got to go see my best friend Aubrey and it made me so happy and she lives in North Carolina and I love North Carolina and I already loved North Carolina and when I was down there, I fell in love with North Carolina even more. I really love North Carolina, in case you couldn't tell. Next, this is one you can't see because it is a television show called Mysteries of Laura. I'm a little late on the bandwagon for this one, but I finally decided to watch it and I am like three quarters of the way through season one and I'm obsessed with it. It is hilarious and funny and I love it so much. You should watch it. Next, can you see this? Yep, yep, yep. I am obsessed with Pokemon Go. I am not very good at it. I am only a level 11 which is mostly due to the fact that I played it during a nearly four hour layover in an airport while I was flying and got so many Pokestops, just kept walking back and forth and back and forth. And I filled up my backpack to the point where I couldn't put anything else in it. Didn't know that was possible, but I did that. I definitely recommend Pokemon Go if you're going to an airport because it is the best thing to do there. They are full of all of the things. It has kind of taken over my life. This is my Pokedex. It is very sad. Probably can't even see it, but that's my, yeah, it's a sad, sad sight. I have caught 39 and seen 42, but I'm obsessed with it. And it has gotten me out of the house and walking and driving around town because of this app. It got me out of the house, so I think it's worth it and it's super fun and definitely addictive. And lastly, my final favorite is also something you can't see. It is Skillet's new music off of their new album. The whole full album hasn't come out yet, but Four of the songs from the album have, and I have listened to all of those multiple times, and I'm obsessed with them, and I can't wait for their new album, and their music just makes me so happy, and I'm so excited to have new music. Yay, Skillet! <laughs> and that is it for my July favorites. I hope you enjoyed. It was not the most exciting video ever, but uh, it is actually currently Monday after five, and I realized I didn't have a video for today, so I filmed this. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next week with hopefully a more exciting and prepared video. <laughs> Bye, guys.